Hello everyone, Donadon here with the uh, next update progress report on my War Corsair. Uh, if you've been following along, I've been uh, slowly getting the gear indicator uh, warning lights uh, all hooked up and plumbed. Alright, everything's all hooked up and working, um, except for the third limit switch that I had to put in there, the micro switch on the upper. It's all mounted, but uh, it's not... Um, I need to make a modification to the triggering mechanism so it triggers the ups, but but the system all works. Um, when I first turned the power on to bring the gear up, uh, they were the pump would kick on, run for a couple seconds, then it would trip the circuit breaker. I changed out the breaker from a 30 to a 15, thinking it wouldn't uh, need uh, 30 amps. So playing around with that for a while, uh, I instantly knew that my solenoids for the hydraulics were uh, wired backwards. So I just went in there, flipped the two wires real quick, tried again, and sure enough, worked fine. But it was still wanting to trip the. Uh, it'd go up and down, but it was occasionally it would still trip that breaker. So I had to stop, take the breaker out. I happened to have the other two that I took out, a 20 and a 30, and I thought, well, 20 will probably work, but I'm just going to throw the 30 back in because that's what it's been working with fine. So, so I threw the 30 back in, and that took care of that problem. So, and then the other problem I had is when the gear went up. Uh, it wasn't hitting the switches, the up switches all the way to shut the pump off. So so I just got done uh, adjusting those. I adjusted this one and that took care of it. There were some clearancing problems with something touching. I had to go in there and cut a little bit of uh, the bottom of the wing opening out, the fiberglass. It was clicking. I kept hearing this click noise and it was a bolt just catching the opening in the thing. So I trimmed a little out on both sides to clear that. And then it was rubbing on the plywood up in there, a little bulkhead on the back where the wheel opening starts. I had to shave off an eighth of an inch on this side just to give it some clearance and I took a little off that side. But needless to say, it's all done and working. <clears throat> so what I'll do is, uh, like I said, the only thing I have is the, the red light when the gears, I got the tail wheel motor uh, disconnected. I pulled the wires on the uh, relay so they wouldn't <coughs> turn them it wouldn't retract the tail wheel. I could had t uh, the chair sitting on the tail, but the problem is when you pick the airplane up like this in the front, it puts a lot of weight on that tail. Um, usually when at home I have a set of sawhorses, I'll pick this thing up and it'd be three, four feet off the ground, one sawhorse under each uh, stabilizer with some styrofoam rubber to set on so it could support the weight because when you pick this plane up all that weight transfers back to the tail so I just disconnected you seen that working so I left that uh, unpowered so let me go ahead and I got the charger on there to give me a good uh, solid 12 plus volts you can see I got three green I'm gonna go ahead and show you this first the, you're, the top two is gonna change to red because the tails not going anywhere alright so we'll flip the switch up And then when they get up, the red's not going to turn off because I have the limit switches. Okay. One of them's not touching, I think it's probably that left switch. Yeah, the left one did trip. I, I couldn't adjust, I can't get the wrench on it. But let me see if, if I can make this work over... Oh, sorry. I was going to show you that the... There it is, it went off. So the, see the two top red lights, now they look blue. Uh, the breaker didn't trip, so... I mean, they look purple. Let me see if I can reach this limit switch over here. One second. Let's see where they're at. There it is. Clear down in there. So if I trip it, it should turn blue. There we go. You can see that? That's what they'll do when they're up. Okay. Now let me get her back down. see the right one was fully down before the left one that's why you have to wire these things in uh, parallel all right let me set this down see if we can get a view from down here so you guys can see what this looks like when the gear retracts all right hold tight Okay, gear back down. 
<clears throat> All right, folks. For any of you who's never seen that before, if you haven't gone back through my old videos and seen me doing retract tests with it before, so uh, let me give you kind of a show you what's going on in here. It's nice that I do have these covers in here now. Mm. Need a light. One second, folks. Come into that. Here we go. I can show you where the switches are. Here's the two switches there. So the back switch, the farthest one in the back, is the the landing gear uh, stop. And this in inboard switch, the first one, that's the red light. So the trigger point on that is those screws there, the one that's sticking out the long one. That's the trigger that hits the back switch. So I have to somehow modify that so it catches both of these or make a, a little bracket or something to go across these two switches to tie them together as one. So trigger one and trigger them both. But that's where the switches are. So I had to mount that upper one when I was down here Sunday. And the other side, the exact same way. Uh, but this one here, you can see, this one's got uh, Allen wrench screws in it. And I couldn't get on the nut to loosen it. Uh, but there's the switches for that. Same thing. The inboard one is for the red light. The outboard one is for the uh, shutting the gear off and turning the blue light on. So there's the covers just sitting there. Uh, I also had pulled those panels off to have access. These cones are just kind of sitting here because when you pick this thing up like this, it wants to teeter. So I just got these kind of setting in there to keep it from teetering. You pull these out of the way the plane wants to, you can see how it rocks. So that just kind of stabilizes it while I'm running the gear. Let me see what's up. So, all right, that's what I got done today. Um, I made this switch adjustment and that shut off because it wasn't shutting off at all. And that one I tried to make it so I, I tried it once before I did camera, but it's right there of breaking, you know, so it's just a little bit. If it doesn't want to go up, it, it doesn't trip. So, but I need to adjust that. I need to bring a different wrench down to get on it better. Uh, the wrench I brought is a little too fat and uh, it's a tight squeeze to get in there. So, all right, so that's where I'm at. I just wanted to get this showed so you guys can see what I'm doing. But essentially, the wiring's finished. Just make adjustments on the switches. Uh, the airport manager was here, and um, once I got the thing to shut off, I was hitting the switches manually by hand, and the lights, they weren't coming on for the blue. The blue was not coming on. And that's the problem of adjusting that voltage and current on that little circuit board. Uh, I just went in there and I tweaked it up like a quarter of a turn and then hit the switch and then the blue light finally came on. But the, the voltage was dropped down just enough that the blue lights wouldn't respond to that voltage that from turning the brightness down. So they got to be a minimum uh, amount of volts and a minimum amount of current to make all three of them lights work. Again, the red ones only require two volts. The blue and green require three volts. Well, apparently the green can take a little less than three or a little, a little less voltage than the blue. The blue needs a little more voltage for them to work. But so I turned up the volts a little bit on that uh, driver controller and then I get, uh, I get the blues on. So once I trigger it, uh, it would turn to blue. But right now, they look purple when they go up because the red's not turning off. Uh, let me try that once. Let me see. See if you can show you. Oh, I did already show you once. Let's see if it shuts off this time. Yeah, that left one is hanging up on me. Run it back down. But you can tell that red light turns the right one it triggered. But you got to trigger both of them. <coughs> so. All right, well folks, that's basically gonna do it for this video. Um, they're calling for rain the next three days. Uh, yesterday, the 15th, tax day, it was beautiful out yesterday, and it was absolutely beautiful out today. We got some guys out here shooting some touch and goes. I guess the flights, it might be the flight school's plane. But the winds have calmed down. Uh, they're more out of the north today, northerly, northwesterly, uh, heading that is. 
but uh, absolutely gorgeous day yesterday and today. Uh, the winds were um, quarter and cross winds out of the northwest, but they're pretty light. They've calmed down quite a bit. But yesterday was beautiful, but I couldn't do anything. Uh, I was uh, dealing with my taxes, get, getting that stuff all sent out. <coughs> I put it off to the last minute, of course. <coughs> so, so I decided to come down today instead. So I've been down here since 1 o'clock, and it's probably pushing 5 o'clock now. So I got accomplished what I wanted. Um, I'm going to leave these covers off, leave the bottom covers off, throw the tank back on, pull the charger off, um, put this back down on the ground. Uh, apparently the uh, little husky back here finally got his prop governor. Finally got his new prop governor there. Yeah, I guess they just put it on this morning before I got here. So I was hoping they were still here because I wanted to borrow their cherry picker here to pick the plane up. And you can see I got her tied up to the back of the propeller. Lift her up off the ground. So, okay, folks, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut it off here now. I um, appreciate everyone again for uh, taking time to watch these videos. And thanks for leaving the comments. We've still got some of these uh, people that just are never happy, you know. But anyway, um, feel free to leave any comments, questions, concerns. I uh, appreciate the uh, concerns of some of you, and uh, I did check that uh, little circuit board, and the wire's fine in there. It's just stripped a little farther than the other side of the wall. So, let me button this thing up, call it a day, and get head for home, get some lunch, dinner, whatever. So, all right, um, like I said, next three days, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, they're calling for nothing but rain, and a little cooler, 50s or so. Today, it was only low 60s, but it's comfortable. All right, folks, um, I'll be back down here next weekend. I think Saturday and Sunday still looking pretty cool. Might be a little too cold, but Monday, Tuesday. So any day from Saturday to Tuesday, I usually come down and work on this. I'll get this all sorted out, bring the stuff I need to finish that adjustment, figure out a way to get those all to trigger, and then we should be good to go. Uh, if I can get that done and that thing's still here, then um, I'll, I'll do it again. But... Uh, as soon as they come and get this plane out of here, that's going too. And then I'd have to trailer mine down to finish this up. So uh, I got the gear doors disconnected, as you could see, just to make working on it easier. Plus, I still need to uh, fix that one over there. It's hitting because of the toe out adjustments I made before. It's kind of turned to scissors. And now the scissors hitting the door, and I got to drill a little pocket in there. I got this side drilled before. But I didn't have to do that one, but now i got to do that one because that's the one that needed more toe out than this one. So hopefully that pocket, because when the gear is up, I can close the doors by hand and they're, they're sealed. So it was just a matter of it wasn't triggering the switch like it used to from that slight adjustment. All right. Okay, folks, I'll uh, try and get another one up this coming weekend. So I'll give you something to watch, and I'll get this one up for you tonight. So, again, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you on the next one.